Mark Savage here, welcome to my channel. What's today's chat? It's a very, very windy day. Driving close to someone. I mean, motorbikes get blamed of it all the time. We do ride on the right-hand side of someone. But if you look behind me now, you can see a van. So if you look in my mirror, that's the view I get from my mirror. Now, this next clip you're gonna see is this morning's quite normal ride to work. And it was a nice little ride to work until I noticed something. So just for diagrams here, this is around about five feet. It's a little bit over five feet, but I want you to gauge when I'm saying that my camera, which is here, looks back like this. Now, it's actually a really good camera. I've got to say I've got two on here. This one and this one down here. I fitted them a little while ago. There is a video on my channel of this. But I just want you to gauge how close I'm talking about when a van is driving quite closely. Now, this doesn't look brilliantly close. I mean, maybe it does to you on this camera now. But from riding here, I would have said that was being fairly optimistic how close this van felt to me this morning. This is the view I had this morning. I could see clearly his left light over my right shoulder. first clip you see I'm just coming off of a side road onto a main road quite happy until I get to the roundabout and I thought actually this guy was turning right so I didn't pay an awful lot of attention until I realized he swung in behind me and each time I could see him creeping up to the next roundabout getting closer to me now in that first clip you see it was spitting a rain so I didn't take it very fast I didn't bank too much but still keeping up with the traffic and I so in the next roundabout, he was on the right-hand side of me. Again, I turned my head and I could clearly see that it looked like he was trying to undertake me. And I didn't need that on that roundabout, so I opened her up and got away from him. At this point, I didn't even notice that he was hammering up behind me until I got to the roundabout and realised again he'd overtaken all the cars and he was right close. At this stage, I could actually see his registration plate in my mirror. clip I thought I'm not gonna mess around I want to move up stay with the other car not breaking any speed limits I'm just keeping going but general speeds this is like 60 and 70 mile an hour roads and that's why I showed you this clip of how far it actually was away from me at 70 mile an hour that really isn't where you should be driving a van most certainly not a car but a van close to a motorcycle and I kept my eyes all the time on him, I must say. Good peripheral vision, you've got great mirrors on this. And this is where I saw him, and I thought, I know what you're going to do. And I was praying that I could keep going. The lane he's gone in now is a filter lane. Completely marked up filter lane to go into the services. And he hammers out in front of the other van. What you don't see is the van flash and bib his horn at him. I 
I waited again to come up to him and clearly see who this was and very very surprised to be honest with you that a van driver would have been driving so erratically and stupidly like that on a road. Not alone to know a road user but a motorcyclist. I've been riding years, you know that, nothing spooks me, but that did worry me, I have to say it did worry me, more so for the fact that if that had been a slightly new rider, a van driving that close to someone, keeping an eye on him, could end up being splatted or, you know, losing on a roundabout because they felt pushed. And that's what happens to a lot of people, they feel pushed. There you go. Van idiot of the day, I don't know what to call him really. And most certainly not adhering to road sensibility. What would you call this? But dangerous driving, recklessness and just a little bit silly. Um, it could have killed me easily if I'd have made a mistake or come off pushing me along. And for that services, if that car or van had braked a little bit more and I had to brake a little more, I think it would have crushed me between the two cars. Not clever, shouldn't be doing it. So, you take care of yourselves on the road, ride safely. And uh, I did actually think at one stage of pulling over and letting him shoot by. The, the time I thought I got a 1215 underneath me, and I thought I'd um, just hammer along and get out of the way. I'm pretty sure the stuff in his van must have been thrown everywhere to uh, drive like that. Very silly. Take care of yourselves on the road. Ride safely. Thanks for watching.